Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Notary Stars. My name is Beth Hathout. I'm an instructor for Notary Stars, and today is November something 2022, just before Thanksgiving. Um, today, we're going to look at a short video concerning credible witness. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Hopefully you can see this. Credible witness. What is a credible witness? What states can use a credible witness? And who can be a credible witness? So a credible witness is sometimes referred to as a credible identifying witness or a credible person. I personally prefer credible person because it takes the witness word out of the equation and it's less confusing because we also have document witnesses, signature witnesses, and then a certificate called signature witnessing. So if we call them credible persons or credible identifying witness, it kind of keeps things a little simpler, but often it's referred to just as a credible witness. Credible witness is literally a human ID. So when the signer doesn't have adequate identification in order to complete that notarization, we can sometimes refer to a credible witness or credible person to identify them. Um, that person must personally know the signer. So it can't be someone who just moved in right next door last week and said, oh yeah, I know him, that's John. Maybe it's not really John. Um, the notary, by the way, isn't obligated to investigate how long a credible witness has known the signer. If you place them under oath and they are swearing that this is uh, the person he claims to be or she claims to be, that's your only obligation, okay? Some states restrict who can be a credible witness or a credible person on a transaction. Um, maybe it can't be a family member. Maybe it can't be anybody who's a party to the transaction. So think uh, the appointed agent on a power of attorney cannot also be a credible witness, okay? Also can't be, uh, receive a benefit from the document. So grandpa's will, you probably don't wanna identify grandpa if you're a beneficiary on his will, okay? The notary must administer an oath to the credible witness or the credible person. And that's true in all 50 states. It's a verbal oath that they're stating you have to administer, but it goes a little further than that as well. By putting them under oath, they're not just telling a fib. If something happens, now they are subject to fines and penalties for perjury, okay? Some states have requirements or recommendations for a credible witness affidavit. A credible witness <clears throat> affidavit is actually <clears throat> an affidavit with a certificate at the bottom that is specific to being a credible identifying witness. Um, some states, there's only a handful of states that require it and maybe a few more that recommend it. Every other state is silent on the matter, but um, as a best practice, we always tell you um, to complete a credible witness affidavit. And by the way, that's an affidavit that you as the notary retain in your journals. I staple it to the page where I used a credible witness. So five years down the road, if I need to look up that transaction, that credible witness affidavit is right there with that journal entry, okay? Um, states that do not require a journal, um, may still require you to make a journal entry. For instance, remote online notarization seems to be trending toward a requirement in all 50 states for journaling. So you may, as a traditional notary, not be required to keep a journal. But if you're doing wrong in that state, it's likely you do have a journaling requirement. 
best practice says any notary should always keep a, a uh, journal. Some states even still do not require you to identify that credible witness or that credible person, which I find interesting because if you're going to make a journal entry, you need to identify the person that you performed the notarial act for. So even if it's a verbal oath, um, you still need to identify them and make that journal entry. If you're completing the affidavit, then you definitely need to have some type of ID for that credible witness and you're placing them under oath. If you're doing just a verbal oath without that certificate, um, you're the, the wording that you're going to use when you administer that oath may be specific to your state. They may have prescribed wording or a sample of the wording that they want you to use. If you use the credible witness affidavit certificate, they're making that statement and that oath is right on the credible witness certificate, okay, that affidavit. Let me first point out to you really quickly, if you are in a loan signing and you cannot adequately identify your signer, you cannot just decide to use a credible witness or a credible person. Often on real estate transactions, you are going to be subject to what the lender um, wants you to do. And sometimes they're going to tell you, hey, even though you can use credible witness in your state, we don't want you to identify our signer for this real estate transaction using a credible witness and you'll have to fold the meeting. So just know if you're on a loan signing appointment or if you're working with real estate documents that you need to get your hiring party's um, authorization to use a credible witness. There are a few states that either have a recommendation or a requirement to use that credible witness affidavit. And that's gonna be Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Montana, New Jersey, Oregon, and South Carolina. Those states, you need to look it up in your handbook, either tell you that it is a requirement that you complete a credible witness affidavit or it is strongly recommended. There are a few states that don't even authorize you to um, use a human ID rather than a government issued ID card. And that's gonna be Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. That might not be a complete list. I'm pretty sure it's accurate, but things change so quickly sometimes that we get these training videos um, recorded and uploaded and the next day they've got a new set of regulations. Always check your state regulations, your state notary handbook, just to make sure that the information you see here is current for your state. I do have a download at the um, link at the bottom of this video that you're viewing. That's going to give you a table of all 50 states and what their requirements are, all accurate as of November 2022. And beyond that table are two sample um, credible witness certificates. Okay. One is California compliant and one is pretty generic. Maybe Florida can't use it, but if you look on the list for Florida, they, it's a requirement that the credible witness affidavit be used. So they have a credible witness affidavit and that wording pre-prescribed for you. So you don't need to use our downloadable credible witness affidavit here. But this is just a sample. I'm not showing you all 50 states. I'm not showing you the certificate. You'll have to click the link below the video to get that. But here's a couple of um, samples for you. Alabama says, yeah, you can't use credible witness. So they don't even go into um, who can be a credible witness or any of those things because they, they don't allow you to use credible witness. 
Um, Arkansas says two credible witnesses. Oath must be administered. All 50 states tell you to administer a verbal oath, okay? Journal entry required only for Ron, okay? Um, here's Florida, one credible witness who knows the signer and the notary. Well, that's hardly ever gonna be used. Or two credible witnesses who only know the signer. So if the notary knows the credible witness, they only need that one. Otherwise, if the notary does not also know the cre credible witness, they have to have two to complete that human ID chain, okay? It cannot be a party to the document. It's required that Florida notaries complete a credible witness affidavit and a journal entry is required for Ron. Um, let's see, Hawaii, one credible witness, Oath must be administered, journal entry required. So a lot of these follow those same tenets, but I want you to make sure that once you find this information on this table, that you check your handbook and make sure that there isn't some additional information there for you. Thanks for watching. Um, download's going to be available below this video. It'll also be in the downloadable resources on our website. And thank you everybody for being here. I appreciate your time.